Isn't life hard enough? Why are we burdened with frightening or unsettling experiences at night? When we're supposed to regenerate and reinvigorate. Nightmares are discomforting and leave you with a lasting unsettling feeling. But what's the reason behind their existence, and what can we do to stop them from happening? Stay until the end of the video to find out the answer to these questions. The definition of nightmare is a dream that entails having bad feelings, such as fear or high levels of stress and anxiety. Although it's more common for younger people such as children to suffer from it, nightmares can occur at any stage of life, but normally they shouldn't be reason for concern. What triggers a nightmare? There are various reasons that can be causing you to have nightmares. You might be feeling uneasy or distressed, experiencing high amounts of fear. Maybe there are situations you're going through in your life that are causing you to feel uneasy. Bullying, having problems at work, or at school. A big event in your life, like the passing of someone you know, moving to a different town or country, these feelings of uncertainty can trigger nightmares. These days it seems like everyone experiences anxiety at some level, that's okay, we can deal with it in small doses, but when it becomes too much you're more prone to get nightmares. A traumatic event that was left unchecked, and you were not able to process yet. For example, a major injury, mental, physical or sexual abuse, being witness to a car accident or participating in one. Not getting enough sleep and becoming extremely sleep deprived, insomnia has also been linked to the manifestation of nightmares. We as human beings crave routine, our bodies work better when they're subjected to the same daily schedules, the sudden interruption of normal events can create a sense of confusion, and give way to nightmares. Certain types of legal drugs or medications can induce nightmares, such as heart medications, antidepressants, ADHD medication. The regular consumption of illegal drugs and alcohol in a regular and excessive manner, can also cause nightmares. If you have an underlying mental disorder, such as depression or general mental health difficulties. Sleep apnea or other sleep-related disorders can also cause nightmares. If you're liking the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Let's keep going. Outside factors that you should avoid if you're prone to have nightmares are, scary books or scary movies. Although the vast majority of the population is okay with them, if you know you're sensitive to this type of entertainment, you shouldn't indulge in these activities especially close to bedtime. What do nightmares feel like? You'll know you're having a nightmare if it becomes more intense and disturbing as it goes, if it feels very real and you're feeling unsettled or upset. Normally you have a sense of insecurity, being threatened, or downright fearing for your life, sometimes the cheating of a loved one can have the same upsetting effects, and be considered a nightmare. Nightmares are by definition intense, and the likelihood of you waking up from them is very high, if you constantly wake up in the middle of the night, you might be having constant nightmares. The general feeling when you wake up is, scared, defeated, irritated, out of patience, extremely nervous, or worried. It feels like your heart is about to jump out of your chest, you sweat profusely, and you are so affected by what you dreamt, that it's hard to fall back asleep. Nightmares are easier to remember than normal dreams, because of the high emotional levels associated with them. Can nightmares become a disorder? Yes, if you are experiencing nightmares a high number of times. If it's causing you to not be able to perform your daily duties, severely impacting your ability to function normally, being constantly afraid of falling asleep, because you fear having another nightmare. If you become obsessed with what you see in those dreams, also if you're having trouble concentrating, and constantly keep forgetting things due to sleep deprivation and tiredness. If you're dragging yourself and finding it difficult to accomplish easy tasks, due to low levels of energy, and sleepiness during the day. Nightmares can be linked to family history, you're more likely to suffer from nightmares if someone in your direct family tree suffered from nightmares before, like a parent, or a grandparent. When to seek medical attention If your work is being directly affected or your performance at school starts declining rapidly. If you develop abnormal behaviors associated with sleep, or start fearing the dark when it didn't affect you before. You should definitely seek medical attention if you have a job that involves driving, or if you're required to drive on a consistent basis. Lack of sleep is directly linked to mood, not sleeping enough can have devastating effects on serotonin production, which is our happy hormone, without it, 
you can become depressed or develop an anxiety disorder. If you are opposed to sleep, because at this point the thought of falling asleep is overwhelming you. This is the most important reason of all, you urgently need to contact your doctor if you start developing suicidal thoughts, it's imperative to contact someone right away if this happens, before suicidal thoughts turn into attempts. How to get rid of nightmares Not every area of your life affects you the same way, it's wise to reflect on what is bothering you the most, and start working on improving that particular aspect of your life. A great influencer to poor sleep quality is stress. The worst part is that poor sleep can be causing you stress. So stress causes poor sleep, and poor sleep causes stress, this can become a vicious cycle that you need to break. On particularly harder days, it's a good idea to engage in restorative practices like meditation or stress relieving activities. Like a hobby that brings you calmness and peace of mind. There are a variety of ways you can release stress, taking a warm bath instead of a quick shower can do wonders for your stress levels. If possible, try to get massages to relax your muscles, when your body is relaxed, it sends signals to your brain indicating that everything is fine. Listening to music has proven to be extremely beneficial when it comes to shifting from a worried mood, to a more relaxed one. What your eyes see, directly impact the way you think, if you spend your day enveloped in stressful environments, you'll automatically become stressed. Avoid spending too much time reading the news, most of what's broadcasted is specifically engineered to cause an emotional reaction. You can become emotionally drained, if you put too much emphasis on the negative events happening around the world. When your day is coming to an end and you have time to sit back and relax, choose lighter movies or TV shows, that give you a good or a neutral feeling. Do not stare at any electric devices when you go to bed or 30 minutes prior. The blue light emitted by these devices will trick your brain to think if there's light, it must be daytime, and not time to sleep yet. The information contained in this video is for informational and educational purposes only, not intended as medical or health advice. Always consult a physician or other qualified health provider regarding any health or medical conditions related to the topics discussed in this video. If you liked the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. That will allow us to keep making more videos like this. For more related content please click on one of the suggested videos. Thank you for watching.